105.1 with you is the Radio.com app. Download it today and listen to us anytime, anywhere. Mix 105.1. Hey YouTube, um, bought this Craig mini jig kit just so I can make the holes to be inside and you won't see none of the screw heads. We're going to put the top for this um, table, we're going to put as, as the top so we don't want to see the screw heads on top. So. This jig allows us to put the screws inside where you won't see the screw heads on the top. Could I line it? There. Okay. And go slow. this up again try to work I try to work as clean as I can because I'm working inside the house because it's too hot outside right now and then I'm gonna I'm gonna install six of these going across I'm gonna add a bead of liquid nails and then I'm gonna assemble the outside because what I am doing, I'm making an outside table with an inner side table made out of three quarter inch plywood and I have some extra material, I have three quarter inch MDF I'm gonna put for the inside and then I'm gonna screw them together so it, strength, it strengthens the legs and I'm gonna have one habitat on the top and a second habitat in the middle because my son um, one of the beardies is his and then the other beardies my daughter's okay okay that's all six holes pre-drilled and my next step is going to be to screw it to the top and then do the same thing to the other side and then I'm going to put the three quarter inch MDF together and have the plywood marry with the MDF and I'll show my results in a couple minutes. Okay. Alrighty, this is the three quarter inch MDF extra material that I had. Um, just pre-drilled some holes, shot it in. I also finished up the three quarter inch plywood and they're both ready to be married to one another. This way each each um, habitat will have its own st independent strength and it'll look clean. Um, wife's gonna fill in the hole with some wood putty later and she's gonna paint it. She's gonna paint it like a gray. So, let's see. a little bit adjusting with the hammer.
ね。Can you give me those screws, honey? And this is just something I'm putting together real quick, just for my kids to be able to see their beardies and my wife to be able to clean it a lot easier. And also, number one priority is to be safe. These things, they weigh a lot. Their measurements are like 36 by, what are they, honey? 18. 36 by 18 by what? 18. 18? Yeah, they're pretty big. But we'll show you. I'll get this all buttoned up. We're going to take it upstairs, set it in place, and we'll show you the finished product. This is the finished product of the table slash stand that we built for the Bearded Dragons. Top one is my son's. It's a, uh, I think it's a red leatherback bearded dragon. Yes, I was. I told you I was gonna let it dust your mouth. And then the bottom is my daughter's female Does yellow bearded dragon, and she named her Sunshine. My wife and my kids are considering purchasing an incubator. So they could breed and um, have the babies hatch in the incubator but um, we'll see if they decide to do that ended up using three-quarter inch MDF for the inner and then used three quarter inch plywood for the outer. I'm gonna go back and fill in the screw holes with wood putty and painted like a light gray. I'm gonna do that in the near future. But that's all I have now. Let's get a shot with the lights off. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I just got a dusty. But that's about it. Talk to you guys later.